Hey guys and welcome back. So today I have a little bit of a Chanel reveal for you. This was a completely unexpected purchase for me. Well, it was sort of planned but unexpected to purchase it at this very time. And I'm really looking forward to unboxing it with you and kind of talking you through why I decided to buy this handbag. Also, before I start, I want to apologize if you can hear sort of a whistling sound. Someone is using a drill outside and they don't seem to be stopping anytime soon, so I thought I'd just go ahead and start filming anyway. So I decided to drop into the Chanel boutique to have a little bit of a look around and see whether or not they carried a couple of the bags that I've had my eye on for the past few years. I have been thinking about investing in a Chanel for the longest time. I think I've probably wanted one since I was in my teenage years. And I decided that, you know, this year was the year that I would go ahead, take the plunge and make that investment. It is a huge huge amount of money to spend on one thing but I have thought about it for a long time and I felt that it was going to be something that would complement and elevate my existing wardrobe. As you know I really am quite focused on buying investment pieces for my closet. I want to have things that I'm going to be able to wear for a really really long time and many years to come and I think that a Chanel is so timeless, it's so classic and it certainly ticks all of those boxes. What I wasn't expecting was to be buying it so soon. Um, I actually thought I'd probably get it closer to a honeymoon but I ended up today going into their boutique in the Westfield in Sydney and I came out with a rather large Chanel bag. I actually ended up having the option between three of the bags that I've been eyeing up and I ended up coming away with the original one that I'd sort of gone in intending to buy but I'm so excited and I'm gonna open this up and share with you guys what I got. Um, obviously you know they do package everything up very beautifully you get that entire sort of luxury experience. I will say I definitely felt a little bit intimidated when I went to go and check out the bag and I actually had a look at it at the Castle Ray Street boutique. They had it in both. Um, but I'm just going to pull this out. It comes in one of their whoops, big magnetic boxes and it's tied up quite beautifully with the ribbon and the camellia on the side here. If you guys, I'm sure you guys have probably watched unboxings like this before but I'll just pull that off and then somehow get this ribbon off. Hold on. Okay, so when you open up the box, looks like that. As you can see, it's the box is far, far bigger than the actual bag inside. I'm just going to pull it out of the tissue. There's quite a few layers in here. So once you peel back all of the tissue, that's kind of what you can see inside. A little dust bag. And then... Any guesses what I got? <laughs> They've clearly done a very good job of kind of packaging this all up. So for the reveal, I ended up going for the small boy bag in the caviar leather with the chevron design and the ruthenium hardware. I absolutely adore this combination and honestly when it comes to the boy bag, this was the combo that I was always looking out for. So when I spotted it, I kind of felt like I should just go ahead and buy it now, just bite the bullet because who knows if it's going to come around again. I really like the ruthenium contrast with the black leather because it has this really aged look to it and I think it makes it a little bit more casual. I think that a glossy silver metal just wouldn't be right for what I want the bag for. You guys know that I tend to wear my smaller bags on the weekend. I like having something that I can just fit my essentials in because during the week I carry a large tote bag for work. So obviously this is going to be more reserved for the weekend and maybe special occasions but I really like it and I like the fact that it's got that uh, black leather part on the strap so you open it up by this clasp here and then it's just quite it's just one open compartment I'll just pull out the strap so it has just the one compartment there and the inside is just a black fabric and there's a little pocket at the back where the authenticity card is and it also has, um, a, you know, you could put your card holder in there or something like that and then the strap there has that leather section like I mentioned and I love this because you can wear it on your shoulder, you can actually wear it doubled up like this on your shoulder as well and I'll show you guys in the cutaway um, but you can also wear it crossbody and Typically, I tend to wear bags like this crossbody. I just find it really convenient. And I had the option between 
two other bags when I was in stores so they had two other bags in the caviar leather which is my preference I love the lambskin I think it is so beautiful but the lambskin they had felt very very delicate and you could already see scratches on it and they were brand new the other options that they had that I was kind of umming and ahhing between were the classic flap and the square mini black caviar leather with the pale gold hardware and they also had the small classic flap as well but I just felt like for me and for what I want, this was the ultimate perfect option and I really, really love the way that this looks. It went really well with my outfit as well, which you guys will see in the cutaways. I'll kind of share the outfit that I was wearing when I went to uh, go and purchase this. But I'm so happy with this bag. Um, it's been on my wish list for a really long time and as you can see, the back is just plain. I'm sure you guys will have seen plenty of these on social media before but I was talking to Luke about this last night and I was saying to him look you know I really want to invest in a Chanel bag but I'm not sure do I do it now do I wait until we go to the Maldives like what do you think I should do and he said if they've got it now just go and get it now so <laughs> I had the full support of my husband which is great I mean obviously like I said this is a hell of a lot of money to spend on one item but I'm definitely really happy to have gone and picked it up. I know that this is going to be a classic that I'm going to be wearing for a long, long time to come. And the thing that I really like about the chevron design is that I feel like it looks a lot more modern on the boy bag than the classic quilting. And I just feel like this is sort of a match made in heaven. So yeah, that is my new handbag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and getting to unbox my new bag with me. Um, I'm sure you guys will be seeing this in a lot of upcoming videos and if you want me to do a review on the wear and tear in maybe six months time, let me know in the comments down below as I would be happy to do something like that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new and you'd like to see more videos from me. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.